Welcome to the Missouri Occupational Therapy Association's presentation on state advocacy. So who is MODA? The Missouri Occupational Therapy Association is a group of dedicated individuals who represent the interests of OT and OTA students and practitioners throughout the state of Missouri. MODA advocates for the profession on the state and local level and partners with the American Occupational Therapy Association on the national level. MODA serves as a reliable resource for practitioners and students in the state of Missouri. In addition, MODA provides free monthly CEUs with topics ranging from low vision and fall prevention to telehealth and animal assisted therapy. Through multiple committees, there are leadership opportunities as well as networking opportunities through MODA's five active districts. As a state organization, MODA is an affiliate partner with the American Occupational Therapy Association. How does MODA advocate? MODA provides a voice for our profession at the state and local level. A lobbyist was brought on in 2020 in order to assist with the OT licensure compact, as well as keeping MODA abreast of legislative actions that could impact OT. MODA advocates for scope of practice and licensure protection and the advancement of OT throughout the state of Missouri. Along with our lobbyist, the MODA Legislative Affairs Committee monitors legislation for any issues facing OT, as well as advocating on behalf of OT to state agencies, such as the Department of Health and Human Services and the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. MODA is constantly monitoring for any legislation that would interfere with access to provision of or reimbursement for occupational therapy services. In addition, MODA provides information on the unique contributions of OT to the community. So why does advocacy matter? In terms of legislation, the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 established that individuals with disabilities could not be discriminated against in federally directed or funded programs or in places of governmental employment. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act created standards for free appropriate public education for children with disabilities, in addition to other guidelines that support full participation and equality. The Americans with Disabilities Act was signed into law in 1990 and provides guidance in relation to equal rights and opportunities for all individuals with disabilities. Currently, legislation impacts scope of practice, access to and provision of OT services, reimbursement for OT services, and guidelines for licensure and continuing education within the state of Missouri. Some examples of advocacy include daily advocacy, which entails the skilled needs line in documentation. This communicates the unique value of OT to other disciplines, as well as to those who reimburse OT services. In addition, every interaction with clients, their families, colleagues, and the community provides opportunities to explain the unique contribution of OT. Professional advocacy may look like coordinating with stakeholders, administration, colleagues, and others to meet the needs of those we serve. This could be within an existing program, or it could be creating an entrepreneurial program to address gaps in service. Writing to your legislators, meeting one-on-one -on -one with your district's representative and senator, or providing testimony for or against legislation are other examples of providing professional advocacy. Prior to the current pandemic, on a chosen day in February or March, OTs from across the state of Missouri would travel to Jefferson City, meet with legislators in person by appointment, and provide handouts and education. They would attend a rally in the Capitol Rotunda, meet other MODA members, and possibly attend Senate and House sessions. This year will look a little different in that we will have a virtual advocacy week, March 2nd through 5th. During this week, virtual education sessions and roundtables will be provided as well as a virtual advocacy networking hour. Any time of the year, you can request to meet with the legislator virtually, send emails to your representative or senator, or participate in a call-in campaign. So why join MODA? In addition to the advocacy efforts mentioned earlier, membership allows MODA to provide many services to OT and OTA practitioners and students. 
For the annual state conference, MOTA membership allows for the strategic planning for the conference, inclusive of reviewing and choosing submissions for presentation, securing a venue, scheduling sessions, locating dynamic keynote speakers, marketing of the event, and so much more. In addition, MOTA supports the efforts, efforts of the five active districts throughout the state of Missouri. So how can you get involved? MOTA membership is affordable with discounts for students, new graduates, and occupational therapy assistants. MOTA has numerous committees that can be joined, including education, membership, the legislative task force, nominations, and many more. If you are interested in leadership, there are opportunities for director and chair positions that arise. If you are not a member of MOTA and wish to join, please log on to www.motamo.net to get started. And thank you so much.